Hi there, welcome back. I'm Priya and I'm a final year medical student in Newcastle University Medicine Malaysia. And today I'm going to be talking about hormone replacement therapy, which is also known as HRT. Hormone replacement therapy is a treatment to relieve the symptoms of menopause and also to replace the hormones that are slowly decreasing in your body as you reach menopause. So what is menopause? Menopause is a natural part of aging in women when they reach the age around 45 to 55 years old and that's when their estrogen levels start to decline in their body. In the UK, the average age of a woman to reach menopause is around 51 years old. The typical questions you might get regarding this question in your OSCE station or your communication skills station is something like this. You are working as GPST1 in general practice. A 51-year-old woman presents to your practice asking for advice. She was diagnosed a month ago with menopause and wants to know more about HRT. She would like to know why she has to start treatment. So how would you go about this situation? Let's dive into it. Okay, so first of all, like always, start the consultation by greeting the patient and confirming their patient's detail. And then you want to know what's the reason they are here for. So try to use open-ended question in this case to get most out of the patient. Then you can ask the patient what they already know about HRT. If they already have read somewhere regarding HRT, you want to know whether the sources are reliable or not and do they have any specific questions regarding HRT. And this is where you are going to collect every single detail and jot them down. And later on during giving explanation, you can mention everything that the patient have told you earlier. Now, you want to take a short brief history to find out whether the patient has any risk factors or comorbidities that can affect your management plan later on. Find out what are the menopausal symptoms they are experiencing, such as hot flushes, night sweats, difficulty sleeping, low mood, vaginal dryness, and then the onset and the duration of the symptoms. They might tell you something like it started with hot flushes a couple months ago, but it has gotten much worse recently. Plus, you also want to know, are these symptoms affecting their quality of life? So you want to ask things like, um, does this bother you at work or home? Or you can just ask with open-ended questions like, how are you handling your life with all of these symptoms? Has it been difficult? Next, you want to ask about their current health, past medical history such as cardiovascular disease and also any past surgical history as well. Then continue with family history of any sorts of breast cancer, stroke or blood clots. About their lifestyle, you want to ask whether they smoke, drink alcohol or have they taken any sorts of recreational drug. And even though patient already having menopause, you still want to run through regarding their menstrual history. So quickly just ask whether was it regular? How many days was their menstrual cycle? Any menstrual irregularities such as intermenstrual bleeding, postcoital bleeding, heavy menstrual bleeding. And then you can continue asking whether they are on any sorts of uh, contraception as well. And if you have more time, you can surely go into obstetric history. Next, you want to ideally check their BMI using their weight and height and then their blood pressure as well. History taking is done, now you are going to give explanation about HRT. So first, explain what it is and next, you can explain why menopausal women should be taking them. This is where you are going to list down all the advantages of HRT such as reducing the menopausal symptoms they are experiencing. Next, you can also mention that it replaces the hormones that are very low in their body. Plus, it can also help prevent thinning of bones which can lead into fracture, what we call it as osteoporosis. Then, we can talk about the types of HRT that's available. Remember, HRT use is based on individual's preference. So as medical students or junior doctors, our job is to give as many options as possible for our patients regarding HRT so that they are aware of the choices and they can choose what they want to be using for HRT. There are hormonal and non-hormonal HRT. Let's talk about hormonal HRT first. So I'm going to be dividing this into three. First, I'm going to be talking about the types and then the forms 
and also the treatment routine of taking hormonal HRT. So hormonal HRT can be taken in two types. One is combined which contains progesterone and estrogen and another one is estrogen only HRT which is normally given to patients who have their uterus removed which we call them as hysterectomy because giving estrogen only HRT to women with uterus it can increase the risk of endometrial cancer. HRT comes in several different forms as well such as skin gels, patches, implants, tablets and even creams for genital dryness. Last but not least, we also have a different HRT treatment routine. For example, we have the cyclical HRT which means it can be divided into monthly ones or three monthly ones depending on the woman whether they have irregular or regular periods. And then we also have the continuous combined HRT which will involve you taking estrogen and progesterone every day without a break. If the patient does not want hormonal HRT, then we can always recommend them non-hormonal HRT or we can call it as alternative for them. There are countless number of non-hormonal HRT or alternatives out there but these are just some of them that I found from NHS website and I think it's commonly tested in exams as well. So here we go. First, we have SSRI which can help with hot flushes and then we also have the vaginal lubricants for vaginal dryness. We have two oral tablets, one is called Kibalon, helps with the irritability, hot flushes and low sex drive. Another tablet will be Clonidine which can also help with the menopausal symptoms. There are other traditional medication or you can call it as complementary therapies such as evening primrose oil, black cohosh, ginseng, St. John's wort. These are considered natural medications but natural doesn't mean they are safe. So sometimes they can have unpleasant side effects as well. One of the most important pieces of advice that we always recommend to patients with menopausal symptoms is lifestyle modification. Simple things such as consuming a healthy balanced diet with low fat, high carb food, regularly exercising, stop smoking, having a good coping skill to reduce their stress level. These are the main ones that we definitely want to inform the patients before explaining regarding HRT and other alternatives as well. Next up, side effects of HRT. Normally in the leaflet that we are giving to patient in the consultation have all the side effects there but it's good to advise patient on the most common side effects of HRT that they will experience when they are taking HRT. Plus, it's giving you more mark in your exam, so why not? So let's dive into some of the side effects. HRT has increased risk of getting breast cancer, venous thromboembolism, or you can call it as blood clots in your circulation. But the risks are quite small, especially when the patients are aged less than 60 years old and they do not acquire any of the risk factor that we have discussed before. Some do complain of weight gain but it's still not proven yet in studies. Besides, because of the addition of the hormones to the body, women can also experience some bloating, breast tenderness, headaches and acne. At the end of the consultation, you can always prescribe what the patient prefers and quickly summarize all the important points to them so that they are clear of taking the medication properly. Do not forget to pass them some leaflets or guiding them to relevant online resources that they can use and read about HRT later on. They also need to be back after three months for follow-up, mainly to check whether they have any side effects from the HRT and also to check on their BP and BMI as well. So once you know that the patient is very clear about HRT and they do not have any specific question, you can find the safety net regarding the side effects. If they find the side effects are intolerable and it's very unpleasant for them, they can always come back to the doctor and ask for alternative medication. And right there, we are done. More details about HRT will be in the description down below. Thank you so much everyone. Do like, comment and subscribe to Priya Meds if you would like to see more of this kind of videos. Until I see you in the next one, bye bye.